Cables are probably the most confusing part about building a gaming PC, so I'm going to explain how you connect your AIO to power the fans, control the RGB, as well as your chassis fans and your PC case fans, all with one single unit, because that's the main question that you guys had, and that's what I'm going to explain here. I waited specifically to do a full build with not only the Lee and Lee AIO, because it is the hardest AIO to set up, but also with the Lee and Lee case, because there's also RGB with this case specifically, since it's the Evo version, where the front panel also has, an a has RGB on it. All these cables that you're seeing, the white ones, it does not matter what order you plug everything into. All these extra wires that Lee and Lee includes for their AIO, you can absolutely use them, but they're unnecessary. And it makes it very confusing for people that are trying to plug in all the wires. So basically the main thing that you have is this little hub type of thing right here that this one is, this is powering all of the fan. And I am gonna show you how you connect it to the motherboard. Forgot to say to like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. I hate saying it as much as you probably hate me saying it, but if I do not say it, like 1% of you will actually do it. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. Because this is the CPU one, so don't make the mistake that I see a lot of people making by plugging your AIO fans into the chassis option on your gaming PC. Because when you do that, everything is gonna function fine, it's going to work perfectly fine, your fans are gonna be running and everything, but they're going to be running at maximum speed. So the reason you plug this into the CPU option is because it automatically controls the speed of these fans to keep your CPU cool and it, it amps the fans up if your CPU is running warmer. So now that I explained that part, the, the second option here that we got for, from Lian Lee this is the RGB and you know it's an RGB plug when it has three little, um, three, it's pretty obvious, I think you're gonna know. It has three little units, that female units, that you plug into either your motherboard or if you're like me and you want to control everything with one unit and you want to give your PC to somebody and be able to use this option right here, MB, motherboard these are up here fans comes with six fans in this hub right here all six of these fans are plugged into the actual unit which can also be controlled by your motherboard because this hub itself plugs into the motherboard so everything is being controlled by one thing these fans are the only fans that i have ever been able to do that with so these little, these, this, these white wires, these are the actual case fans. These right here are the Lee and Lee fans. This right here, also Lee and Lee fans. So this powers, and I'm gonna show you really quickly where I have everything plugged in. So we plugged the Lee and Lee fans into this RGB header. And then we also plugged our case in, there's a case RGB into this, into this hub as well. So now this case has a motherboard option right here that you click and that's all going to this one hub. So all the lights other than your RAM are going to be controlled by this hub and the motherboard application, which if it's MSI, it's gonna be Mystic Lighting. This is an ASUS motherboard. So it's ASUS Armory Crate. Gigabyte has their own, they all have their own which is why I'm explaining how to do this all with one single unit. Um, and then there's also, I forgot to explain this, your power supply. And this is a Lee and Lee, this is literally a Lee and Lee. And they do, they really make it very confusing for people. So this is a SATA plug. You plug this into your power supply, your power supply. I love this power supply, by the way, this is awesome. I very highly recommend this. It's a really awesome power supply. I, I know I just said awesome like so many times. Uh, it's, it's a modular power supply. It comes with all kinds of extra cool ASUS stuff if you want that. But these are the power supply things. You plug this into your actual power supply and then you plug these 
or you plug the 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 case thing into this and then you also plug your hub into this to power everything all one it doesn't matter which one you plug it into and then I'm not I'm actually not going to exp to keep this video shorter for you guys before I show you all of the lights being controlled with one single unit um which you can either use the Asus thing because in order to change the motherboards light you are going to need to use Asus's thing but once you change that light or you just turn it off the Asus logo it's set and you can just continue to use this one remote very quick and easy simple boom or you can open up the application and really really start to customize stuff where this fan is blue and that fan is red and that fan is pink and that fan is green and that you know what i mean like you can do that if you want you can't do that with the remote um but anyways powering the aio fans i already explained this this motherboard specifically is right near the the first stick of ram and then you also have your aio pump which plugs into the aio pump header and your manual for your AIO is going to explain this to you but the the Lee and Lee black wires there are plugged into the the CPU power option and then also the pump option is plugged in to the uh, the upper part so if you're if you're using um, a, a decent mother I don't really build lower end computers so I'm not sure if lower end boards do this but what I'm quickly going to do here and no, I don't play games on this behemoth, by the way. For all those people that actually think, like, where, where do you, what do you think I'm using right now to record this video? My monitors. Right, let's make sure it's not in the way. I've done that so many times. My mic blows the actual background here. So this is a, actually, I actually, so this one I also, it's another case. Same fans, all white. I almost thought they broke something. All right, so now I'm gonna go communicate with him. Um, it's all white, and uh, I obviously haven't set windows up, but it really did I just use my light thing? Where's the motherboard or the fan? It's gonna change my lights too. Oh, it didn't. Sweet. Oh, because I have mine connected to my motherboard. Sweet. So blue, then you got purple, and then you can see I'm hoping the AIOs. So those fans are definitely more saturated. So it's not like identical color. There's purple, blue. So blue looks the same. White looks the same, yellow. That looks kind of green to me. 